I played this thing in the last year. I broke, I broke this finger. I mean, it's still something. Right there. I'm Dave Ware. I'm a skater. Been skating every day for about the last eight years. I'm also vice president of marketing for my firm. We're an electrical firm. I'm a single parent. Been raising two kids for the last 13 years by myself. I like to play guitar, drums, keyboards. I ride a dirt bike. Got four wheelers, jet skis. I like to shoot. Don't care for hunting much anymore, but I sure like shooting cans. Well, the average day in the life of Dave starts about six. Get up, get my butt to work, work till about lunchtime, and then I go skate. Come back, work some more, come home and skate some more. We have a few drinks. The end. <laughs> Joe. I'm playing the drums, dude. Dave, the, the most determined blader in Oklahoma, skates at least once or twice a day. Our motivation. Dave's just the man. He's helped all of us out in times of needs, when we needed wheels, bearings, anything to keep rolling. Dave has always been there. No questions asked. It's kind of disheartening because he's about 200 pounds, he's 50 years old, and he can do just about everything else, like everything that I can. So, yeah. That's pretty shit. skating for my health. I, I always skated as a kid, quads and skateboards and whatnot, but it wasn't until I was in my 40s till I started getting serious about it. I did it primarily for my health. My best friend died uh, from living a sedentary lifestyle, so I decided to do something about that in my own life and started skating. And it really progressed from there. And that's, that's what keeps me skating, is the exercise and the adrenaline and the tricks. Uh, the feeling I get from skating, it's like no other. You get a combination of adrenaline, endorphins, there's the fear factor, and uh, the success factor. When you land a new trick, uh, that's, that's a feeling that's hard to beat. When you finally land that trick, totally addicted to grinding. And it's a series of crashing, falling, getting hurt, getting back up, and getting the trick. And once you do that, and once you get the trick, there's there's no better feeling of accomplishment. Well, falling and getting hurt is the reason I wear all my pads. I've got more pads, I think, than I do skates. Hey, when you get to my age, I'm 51, you don't bounce, and it hurts like hell when you fall. And you don't heal as quickly. I was, uh, Long time smoker from a kid, since a kid, and uh, once I started bowl skating, I realized I could only make it around the bowl about one time before I'd start coughing and choking because of the cigarettes. And it finally, skating finally made me quit my cigarette addiction after all those years. So, quit smoking. <laughs> uh, well, one of the good things about skating as an exercise, especially aggressive bowl skating and other type of aggressive skating, is that the uh, Endorphins, the runner high, the runner's high, it's not the same because you're introducing adrenaline in with the endorphins and it's a totally different experience and it's very addictive. And I, ever, I keep track of all my workouts on my skate with Indomondo on my telephone and I average about a thousand calories an hour and I do that every day. Uh, aggressive skating comes out to, real, it's a little more than just regular skating so I get about 10,000 calories burned every week on an average. Whenever he goes to Hoffman, dude, in the bowls, 
just goes and goes and goes. 114 degrees outside, he will just crank him out. It does like three miles in an hour. It is ridiculous. I I would consider myself a pretty healthy dude. I do about a quarter of the amount of stuff that he does. It is ridiculous. As I'm 23, cannot keep up with it. Beast. The skating scene around here, it's like it is nationwide. We're all real, real close knit, very friendly. There's no, there's no racism, no sexism, none of that. We're all a bunch of friendly skaters, and it's amazing how close everybody is, even online. We set out a year ago, almost to the day, and started with a 20-foot piece of two-inch PVC conduit. And we had to have a place for it, so we built a little flat ramp, and it's gone crazy since then. It's it's grown from a single rail to 100 feet of grind space in a 36 by 12 foot spot. Gotten a pretty good skate collection amassed over the years. It's been very hard too because I wear a size 14 triple E. He's got some big ass feet. Size 14. Who has a size 14 skate and can skate them? I don't think it's even been two years. That's whenever he actually started grinding. So everything that he knows, he's learned how to do that in less than a year is ridiculous. And he's getting better every day. It's awesome. Well, everybody's told me I'm a big inspiration. Most everybody that skates is in their 20s or 30s. There's there's a few people in their 40s, but for the most part, it's a young man's sport. And I think a lot of them give it up and then they see me out here kicking some butt progressing daily and I think it's given a lot of them a second uh, second look on skating to get back into it and you know, I'm, I may be the oldest active blader in the world I'm not sure I'm happy with that distinction but I'll take it I'm 51 I skate every day I don't plan on stopping when I'm finished just throw my skates in the box with me and bury me then yeah.